North Atlantic right whales are baleen whales that feed on microscopic organisms. They can grow up to 52 feet long and live 70 years or longer. North Atlantic right whales primarily live along the east coast of the United States and Canada. They feed and mate in the northeast for most of the year. In the winter, some migrate down the coast where pregnant females give birth in the warmer waters off the southeastern United States. They travel alone or in small groups and can be seen swimming and eating together at the surface. As a result of whaling, the population was driven from historic numbers as high as 10 to 15,000 or more animals to the point where we are now looking at roughly only 400 North Atlantic right whales. North Atlantic right whales are now one of the world's most endangered large whale species. While commercial whaling in the United States is no longer legal, impacts from human activities are still the greatest danger to North Atlantic right whales. North Atlantic right whales live in coastal areas with high boat traffic, so they're especially vulnerable to being struck by boats or ships. Another principal threat to right whales is entanglement in fishing gear. The right whale drowns as a result of entanglement, or it can be a chronic event in which case a right whale will become entangled and then suffer the effects of dragging that fishing gear around. Another threat to right whales is simply a small population size. The population can turn quickly. It can be growing and bang, the population is declining. At least 17 North Atlantic right whales died in 2017, which was 4% of the population. While this number was unusually high, we know of at least 13 more deaths since then. These deaths could signal the beginning of the end for this species if we don't take action. A big part of recovering North Atlantic right whales is knowing how many there are every year. We do aerial surveys as well as vessel surveys, and then we work with our partners to count and identify all the individuals as well as collect a lot of additional data on. We can see if they've become entangled we're able to very precisely estimate how many animals are in the population. Another tool we use is passive acoustic monitoring devices to give us an idea of where right whales might be going and habitats they might be using. We administer and support a large whale disentanglement network where volunteers and our partners attempt to disentangle right whales. Our main goal is to try and prevent entanglements in the first place, and so we're working with fishermen to modify gear, manage when and where fishery gear is placed. NOAA Fisheries has also implemented regulations to protect right whales and reduce fatalities from vessel strikes. Everyone, whether they're on the water or in the air, including boats, kayaks, paddleboards, airplanes, or drones, must stay at least 500 yards away from any right whale. NOAA Fisheries designated North Atlantic right whales as a species in the spotlight in 2019. Including North Atlantic right whales in the species in the spotlight initiative will help raise awareness with the public, increase our efforts within NOAA to work with our partners, and also aid in finding new partners to help us recover the species. NOAA experts and partners are doing all we can to address this urgent conservation challenge. You can help too. If you see a right whale, report it through our hotlines or by using the Whale Alert app on your smartphone. By knowing where right whales are, NOAA can alert mariners so they can slow down or avoid the area. Spotting entangled whales and alerting the disentanglement network may also lead to life-saving interventions for these whales. There's an amazing network of partners and NOAA Fisheries staff hard at work to help recover the species. With all of these people and agencies all working together, I can't help but feel we can move the needle in a substantial way to help right wells.